All right, guys, it's 8.30 p.m. on Thursday, and the car should be here any second. I am so, so excited to see this car. I've been looking for this particular car for an entire year. I bought this car three weeks ago, sight unseen, and I'm finally going to get to see it in person, and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Should be here literally in five minutes. I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. All right, guys, here it comes. It's on a way bigger truck than I expected, actually, but I think it's the last car on the rack. Woohoo! Yeah. All right, guess what car it is? Yeah, it's this one. 2019 Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 in Velocity Blue. Oh my god, it looks awesome! Look at it! Oh man, that looks so sweet. Oh, the wheels. I love the wheels on the Performance Pack Level 2s. Oh man. That looks fantastic. What do you guys think? So the first thing I noticed, which I thought was weird, it has extended lug nuts on the front wheels, but not on the back where you think, you know, the power is you'd have them on the rear wheel, not the back wheel, but who knows. But I also noticed it has some Ford Racing Springs up under there, which I'm not that disappointed about. But it looks like it's in good shape. It still has a stock exhaust on it. It's got the Performance Pack Level 2 little spoiler. Pretty excited. Guess what's happening right now. You're pulling off the trailer for me. Yeah. You get to drive it first. I'm trying to trip on the... <clears throat> My buddy Chris has the honors of driving it off the truck even before I got in it. <laughs> <laughs> first cold start. So, so excited right now. What do you guys think about this? I mean, this car is actually more rare than a GT350 and a GT500. At any given time, I can only find four performance pack level twos in the country for sale. And this one is fully loaded. The only one I ever saw with all the options. Don't scrape that splitter, Chris. Don't scrape that splitter. Oh, look at that. So to to. Oh, it's got a black roof. I didn't, I didn't notice it had a black roof till right now. It's got the leather Recaros, the 401A, empty tank of gas. What can I do with this yeah. car with an empty tank of gas? Six speed manual. It's got it all. Uh, that looks awesome. Waited so long for this moment. Uh, I hope you guys like this car. There's gonna be a ton of content coming your way. Did it have a two step on it? All right, it's the next day now. It was starting to get a little bit dark when the car showed up, so I did just rip it around a little bit, took it to the gas station and filled it up. But now we're gonna be able to officially do a real walk around of the interior and exterior, and uh, we're gonna take it for a rip. So this isn't a full review of the car. This is just my first initial impressions I really wanted to show you guys. Stay tuned. All right, here she is. Just to recap, this is a 2019 Mustang GT Performance Pack Level 2 in Velocity Blue. 
So these wheels are specific to the Track Pack Level 2. They are much wider than the Track Pack Level 1 wheels. And this particular vehicle should have 305 uh, wide tires all the way around, but the previous customer did put massive 325s on the rear. So, so far, I haven't really got this car to step out. I mean, it has insane grip, which it would with the 305s, but it has even better grip now. Now, this vehicle is equipped with the active exhaust, which we'll listen to here in a little bit, but the, you know, it still has the factory mufflers on it, which I thought was cool. It's got the deck lit spoiler that is part of the performance pack level two and i do like how it has the black accents it really accentuates the blue it's got the black spoiler the black roof the black mirrors black badges and the black hood scoops so i think that looks pretty awesome it does have led headlights and fog lights uh the front splitter is a little larger on the performance pack level two it's got the blacked out horse badge in the grill there and i am i am so stoked on this car right now i love it Let's check out the interior. It does have the leather Recaro option. And it does have the blue stitching uh, throughout the vehicle on the door panel here, on the center console, and also on the dash. This vehicle is also equipped with the B&O sound system and the digital display, part of the 401A package. Uh, so those were all things I was looking for but I have never found, oh yeah, of course the six-speed manual, the performance pack level two is only available with the six-speed manual. Now I was looking for all these options, but I'd never seen a performance pack two with every single option. This might be maybe one of the only ones ever built this way. So I'm super stoked that it's finally mine. Let's take it for a drive. All right guys, we're finally behind the wheel of the Mustang that I've been looking for for an entire year. And I have to say, I am absolutely thrilled with it. It actually has more options than, than I was really looking for. You know, I kind of had a few options that I had to have. But this car actually has all the options and then some. So it's the 2019 GT Performance Pack Level 2. It has the leather Recaros, has the Magna Ride, has the active exhaust, has 401A package, B&O sound system. So pretty much everything I could ask for. It's the right color, velocity blue. So I'm super, super stoked to be behind the wheel of this car. Now, like I said, I did pick up the car last night. And I took it for a quick rip. And I did read some stories about people saying that the performance pack level two was too harsh. So when I thought I was actually gonna have to fly to Washington to drive this car back, I'll, I'll give you that story here in a second. I was like, oh man, this is gonna be a rough ride with the Recaros, that super stiff suspension for 36 hours. But it is awesome. The seats, very supportive, super comfortable. And the suspension in normal mode it is fantastic. I mean, totally daily driverable suspension. I mean, not harsh at all, no clunk and no bang and super smooth. Uh, so I'm super happy about that. And uh, like I said, it has all the options. So I'm, I'm just thrilled to finally be behind the wheel of this car. It, it does have a uh, downshift rev matching, which is super sweet. I'll, I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. You'll be able to hear it inside the cabin. Um, but so far, super pleased. Now I haven't gotten the car up on the rack or anything like that, but I did buy this car from a Ford dealer in Port Orchard, Washington. Uh, it's called Port Orchard Ford. And you know, I did all this over the phone via email, bought this car sight unseen, which I'm kind of shocked myself that I did that being an automotive technician. I know you know what can happen to some cars. So Port Orchard Ford, super awesome people. I don't my salesman's name was Ty, used car manager Patrick. Uh, I think Sprina was the internet manager. Uh, Aaron was the finance manager. And I did talk to one more gentleman who was in finance. They were all super friendly, super helpful. They gave me a fantastic deal. That's why I went 2,500 miles away to, you know, to buy the car. And even with the shipping included, 
still couldn't touch that price anywhere on the East Coast. So big props to Port Orchard Ford. If you're in that area at all, please stop by and check them out. Uh, you know, great people all the way around. I don't know much about their service department uh, or what the dealership even looks like, uh, but the sales, the finance, top notch. I definitely recommend them for that. So I'm gonna put the exhaust into track mode. You can hear it got loud, so listen to this. So when you downshift, it rev matches, which is awesome. My M4 had that option as well, and I love it, especially for being on the track. Now I'm gonna break this car in proper. I already have a road course day lined up for this coming Tuesday. So I think this car, I mean, that's exactly what this car was built for uh, with the track pack level two is going around turns not necessarily straight line performance so i can't wait to put it to the test and see how it fends uh you know, i've had the m4 out there a couple other mustangs a couple rental cars even uh but this car is definitely going to be the best one out there by far you know it's got the massive brembo brakes the giant tires it's going to be awesome so i'm going to do a quick little pov drive of this real quick but like i said this isn't a review of the car it's my first initial impressions there's going to be plenty more videos of this car we're going to be doing you know more track stuff i'm gonna check it out with the draggy um you know we're gonna be doing a bunch of performance mods so a lot of content to come so i want to know what you guys think about this car now i know it's just a mustang gt but to be honest with you i thought they were a dime a dozen a year ago and i could not find the perfect spec for an entire year so they're not as common as you may think to find a gt manual performance pack level two with all these options uh, like I said earlier, I think the Performance Pack Level 2 is probably the rarest Mustang out there. You know, there's a lot of Bullets, there's a lot of Mach 1s, there's a lot of GT350s and 500s, a lot of regular Performance Packs, but really the Performance Pack Level 2, I don't know the specific build numbers, it has to be the most rare Mustang. So I'm super stoked that I have one in my possession, and I hope you guys enjoy the content, because I'm going to really enjoy making it for you. All right, so here's what it looks like behind the wheel. Like I said, it's got the full digital cluster part of the 401A package. Now there's a ton of things you could do with this, none of which I know how to do yet. I haven't really played with these. Even when I was a Ford tech, we never got too many Mustangs in for service, especially with the digital cluster. So I don't have much experience playing with all the functions, but you can see it's in kilometers right now. This car was originally Canadian, so we gotta fiddle with that. I know you can change the, the tack and all that stuff so it does have the nice big touch screen with the sync 3 apple carplay uh you know it's got all the setting buttons on the steering wheel one thing i noticed that i thought was kind of interesting the steering wheel is super squishy like an old car like it's weird i like it it's nice and grippy but it just feels weird it's a little bit squishy but it said it's got the bno stereo uh six-speed manual uh so so far like i said i'm absolutely thrilled with this car so it's a favorite little hill right here by my house. We're going to rip it up that so you can kind of see how it does from the cockpit. I mean, pretty much minimal body roll. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it in, in Sport Plus. That'll make the exhaust a little louder. We'll turn off the traction control. But like I said, these 325s, it, it's hard to get this car to step out at all. Which I'm not that upset about because I don't want to smoke the tires off anyway. But... Man, does it grip. So let's see what it'll do. Oh my God, this thing's a rocket. Ooh, these Brembos, they grab so well. Ah, there's always gotta be somebody in front of me on this hill. Dang it. But yeah, you can see the car really rips it and gets it i mean it's it's awesome exhaust sounds awesome i'm not sure if this exhaust is modified like i said i know the mufflers are stock but it may not have a resonator on it you know that's a pretty common thing but this does have the active valve exhaust so you could really quiet it up but man so far owning this car for one day i'm absolutely in love it's everything i thought it would be plus some I'm excited to get it up on the rag to see maybe we'll find some more modification surprises. So I'm excited about that. So we're going to head back home now and we're going to talk about my next subscriber giveaway.
So stick around. Hi guys. Really? It is pretty cool, thanks. Alright guys, it's giveaway time. Now I'm going to get a little ambitious. This is a subscriber giveaway. I'm at 17,600 subscribers. I want to get to 25,000 to give this away. So this is what you're going to get. It's awesome AFE tactical backpack with a power pack. It powers the backpack. The backpack actually has a USB and a aux link cord in it. And this powers the backpack so you can charge your phone while it's in the backpack, super awesome. Next, we're gonna give away the Topped On Code Reader. I did a review of this in one of my videos. I'll post that in the comments. Uh, it's an awesome code reader, color graph, does all kinds of stuff. You'll be able to scan and diagnose your own check engine lights. Third, we have this AutoWitz Super Cap 2 Jump Pack. I also reviewed this in one of my videos. It's an awesome product, it's a jump box, but with a super capacitor, it basically takes the smallest amount of juice from your dead battery, recirculates it, amplifies it, and then it's able to start your car with the juice that was already in your battery. So like I said, 25,000 subscriber giveaway. Now I have had issues trying to do giveaways on YouTube. I can't get a hold of the winters, winners, sorry. So I'm gonna need you to follow me on Instagram because that's where I'm going to announce the winner. And I'll be able to contact you through DM on Instagram. So if you wanna just follow me the day of and then unfollow me that's great i want you all to have the option to win this awesome prize pack it's going to be sweet uh so really excited about this giveaway 25,000 subscribers thanks for checking out my channel please subscribe if you haven't already i hope you enjoyed the unveiling of my new mustang i'm super super stoked about it so i hope you guys are looking forward to some more mustang content we still have the tundra we're still gonna be doing reviews of that but i'm really excited about the mustang uh, so like I said, thanks for checking out my channel. Have a great day.